Hey guys, so welcome to the 2020 color array forecast and I'll just give a brief um, understanding why they're asking me to do color arrays. It's predominantly because how they see us and they see us as ever fluctuating blobs of color. <laughs> and these are mag electromagnetic frequencies of course and they they are certain they emit a certain radiation or certain vibration if you will and these correspond to certain colors remember that the electromagnetic spectrum is and we know about this much of it and this much of it we can see right and so this much of it is pretty much what keeps us here in this experience that holds us that locks us down in this 3d material experience so we're going to be talking about each layer of that consciousness right or each ray now this is not has nothing to do with your favorite color so don't go choosing the videos by favorite color this has to do with our ever fluctuating and expanding consciousness right so this is why they don't want to stay trapped in the astrological archetypes because they feel that it is now too limiting because some people how I mean how many of you have been checking the same sign for years right so we tend to lock ourselves into a certain understanding of ourselves and the hallmark of a higher consciousness is its fluidity right it's high vibrational fluidity and so we can easily move here there wherever it needs to be and so what it wants you or what they want you to start playing around with is to become more fluid in your consciousness and become more fluid in your understanding of yourself. So you're not always, my name is Kim and I'm a cancer and I'm always going to check cancer forever. <laughs> but to understand that your name is just a, a, a marker okay that's not who you are and cancer is also not who you are it's just something that you've decided to flow through at this moment in time right so what they're trying to say is you're not always you know the, the the messages that come through for cancers sometimes they don't even apply to you and yet you'll take it on and you'll actually experience that and manifest that experience in your life because you're taking it on and you're integrating it and you're assimilating it and you're saying you're identifying yourself with it and saying yes this is me even though that's not your experience that's not your pathway but you're just not fluid enough to flow into libra for a second and see what's going on over there so they don't want you to see yourself as this is the red ray and this is going to be my 2020 but all the colors are going to be your 2020 some more some less and you're going to be shifting and changing and being very fluid throughout 2020 moving forward as well so maybe you'll start off the year as a red ray and then in the middle of the year after you've established certain things and set certain foundations now you need the self-confidence to maintain and grow it so you're going to shift over to the yellow ray and see what's going on there right so you as you move through your experiences you shift automatically so any attempts at shifting are kind of futile because this happens anyways right <laughs> anyways it's happening anyways so it's really you don't really have to do anything what you do have to develop is trust faith patience belief hope happiness these are virtues that have been taught to us through all civilizations through all um religious kind of kind of groupings they are the hallmarks of a higher developed consciousness of a higher spirit right so that's all you need to do that's all you've ever needed to do right but in our instant gratification society we sometimes lose sight of that so they don't want you to get stuck on a certain color and um, don't choose your favorite color in that sense but really go into yourself take a moment right here right now breathe in deeply take a deep breath in feel your stomach expand through feel your lungs expand breathe all the way in breathe out and the first color that comes to your mind when you think of your intentions and the traditional intentions that you follow that's the color that you're going to be looking at today well as soon as they're up <laughs> alrighty so thank you so much for tuning in for supporting this channel and I'll see you in your color take care bye Hi guys, so this video is for the red color ray and we're calling it the red color ray because this is, um, we're equating it to the base chakra, right? Our first, our root chakra, which has to do with tribal affiliations, community, that first initial spirit.
spark of existence, the I am, that has to do with setting boundaries, that has to do with anger, which it has to do with maintaining boundaries that have been overstepped. So it has to do with territory, it has to do with sense of belonging, where I belong, who I belong with, um, all themes of survival that um, have to do with this red color array, right? So that's the first foundation we need to set for our experience here in this realm is that we're okay being here, right? We belong here and this is the parameter of the existence that is going to be flowing out of this first marker, this first point. It does have a somewhat limiting energy to it, right? It does have a somewhat limiting energy to it as it defines the the limitations in which this life will flourish or in which you know um, under what circumstances this this will come about. A lot of us don't incarnate fully into our bodies and we don't fully go into those lower three chakras, the first, second, the third, um, predominantly because we have so much gunk stored there from our early years of programming around these topics and themes of belonging, first chakra, relationship, second chakra, sense of identity and self, third chakra. So we tend to stay in this, the, the lighter, higher chakras, which, which, um, a kind of strengthen our desire to escape this realm right and buddha already said the only way out of the world is through so that's where we need to start is in the base root chakra where we all need to dive in and really get in there clear out whatever is blocking us holding us back keeping us from living in our full abundance from our um feeling that sense of belonging and acceptance uh, from being able to be intimate and I'm not speaking of sexual intimacy I'm speaking of intimacy in a community in a group of people that you love in a tribe of being able to be open with someone and be authentic right so all of that is is stuck down in this red root chakra now the people of the red ray um, we can see them as being builders right they're the ones that lay the foundation for something Thing. They're the ones that um, bring groups together, but not in a communicator bringing a group together way or a visionary bringing a group together way or a leadership bringing a group together way, but in a way of let's lay down this road and we all need to work together. Heave ho, we're the seven dwarves and we're going to make this happen, right? So they kind of bring this stability to something, a um, that warmth, that heart, that fire, that passion that um that endurance enduring passion however they bring to a situation these are the people that are like the rock in the office that everyone builds around that have been there forever that know everything that pass on traditional knowledge but they're not necessarily the ones to lead the company into a different time or into an expansion or into a growth but they're definitely the ones that maintain the structure the company needs to function right so this is the operating manager it's not the CEO right and um, these red rays they hold families together they hold communities together they give a sense of tradition and um, that flavor of slight antiquity sometimes to certain situations they their tempo their their um, timing is a little bit slower they've got a little bit of a slower beat a boom boom right and um, their vibration is is more of a a deep kind of bassy kind of um, vibe and um, they they like to take their time on things they like to take things slowly they don't like to be rushed they don't like to be stressed once they've made up their minds it's very difficult to change them um, they're not the type of person to be fooled around with or trifled with when they get angry they get really angry um, they can hold grudges that nobody sees nobody ever knows and they get sick 40 years later and they start doing the work of digging up whatever caused the sickness and after months of hard labor they hit that grudge that they've been holding for the last 40 years so this this is just their nature there is no condemnation or judgment in that um, it is what it is because every quality comes with certain characteristics right so um, we've got a dry dry wood right dry wood has a certain characteristic you can knock on it it'll sound kind of the way dry wood sounds um, it has these these qualities about them the same thing with the red ray right so the red ray though is intensely loyal intensely um, 
passionately loyal, absolutely truthful, authenticity. So they can come across as blunt. They can come across as direct. They can come across as territorial as well. They don't like anybody pissing on their tree. And um, they can come across as possessive, right? So these are people that are, um, they will they will fight to the death for their families and um, for the people that they love. And these are people that are intensely attached to their ideals and their principles and are very um, stable in their personality, in their lifestyles, in, in what it is that they desire to achieve. These are not high flyers. They don't reach for the moon in that sense, right? They, they have very practical reasons for doing whatever it is that they do. And um, they don't really care about the stars, right? And so it's, 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 they're very in the here and in the now, very in the presence. And um, they enjoy material things. They, they are good. They are res good with their resources. They enjoy material things. They enjoy food. They enjoy uh, physicalities. They enjoy sports. They enjoy anything that is really, um, that gets really physical, right? So these people are great when it comes to expressing themselves in hands-on art. So talking about pottery and sculpting and um, really touching and, and getting their hands in there. Cooking, right? Getting their hands into something, right? And um, through that, transmitting the love that they feel. When they're healers, they're hand-on healers, you can feel a sense of rootedness and connection and femininity as well that comes through them um, with their healing energies. They're ex excellent healers and getting people to ground and getting people to root so people that are always high flying they need to find this kind of a healer because this healer will help them balance out a lot more these people um, are the rays that are building the the structure the platform the 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 foundation for anything to be organized and that's why they represent stability because without stability there is no organization right everything is constantly in chaos so they need to come in first as the stability upon which organization rests upon which something can develop and grow right and so because of that they have certain characteristics to their nature which to other rays on the opposite end of the spectrum may seem difficult to deal with because these are not people that are they uphold tradition right okay so we'll see what comes through for them but and i'll start off with the cards and and through the cards just dive into whatever i'm working with the uh path of the soul destiny cards and see what comes up for the red rays in 2020 now the red rays you may feel drawn to this reading if you're learning to heal that red aspect of yourself right that red root chakra you may be drawn to this reading if you have if you are a red ray and you're having difficulties with with accepting yourself you may be drawn to this reading if you feel completely comfortable with being a red ray and you just want to know what is it that i need to do what is it you know how can i make this better um if you're healing the red ray if you're healing the red ray within yourself you're gonna have to slow down right um what heals red rays or that red ray is time and patience time patience trust right you're gonna have trust to have patience and to allow time to do its thing because the red ray just moves slowly right so let's see here so the first card for the red ray for 2020 please the second card third card fourth card so for the red rays the first card that came up for you red ray is the 16 one plus six is seven and one has to do with the self the individual and is the first point six has to do with balancing and harmony right and so bringing the individual into balance and into harmony seems to be what's coming up for you in 2020. This is a card of healing. 
It's a card of healing. This can be energy healing, physical healing, but it has to do with healing your body. You yourself may be a healer. You may be looking for healing. You may have been um, holding yourself back from fully stepping into your healing capability. Um, you may be desiring some kind of or looking for the perfect healer for yourself. Whatever it may be, there's a strong focus on healing that is coming up in and through the experiences that are coming for you in 2020. The next card that comes up for you has to do with, one second, universal connection. And this is the 43, so we have another 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. So 4 has to do with the community, has to do with the platform, has to do with the structure. 3 has to do with creativity, has to do with connection, has to is the a number of the empress in tarot, 4 plus 3, so community. And this abundance, this creativity is equal to 7, the spiritual mystical experience. And um, so we see this connection with the divine, right? So we can see this two sides or two aspects of something. So this may be the divine and the spiritual, the mundane and the heavenly, and they meet in the middle right here, right? There's that point of contact, that point of meeting, and this is a space in which something mystical happens. Then we've got, and I'll tie them all together in a second. Then we've got card number one, which has to do with creation. This is the creator energy. So again, the one is showing up here. Then we have actually the red ray and we've got this 33. This is interesting that this shows up because this is, this is red and purple. So this is the div divine making of the red, right? So elevating the, the physical into the spiritual. We've got 33, that is the number of Christ consciousness and Christed energy, Christ level energy, Christ level consciousness. And this is Quan Yin, so embodied compassion. All right, what's coming up for the Red Ray, please? The Red Rays are being asked to hold it down. They're being asked to um, lay down a foundation. They're being asked to lay down a foundation with 2020 of compassion, right? To continually remind people of the Christ consciousness, of the higher levels of consciousness that have been taught traditionally over time forever. They may have to, you know, um, let themselves be open to new ways of thinking, new ways of communicating the information that they stole and uh, that they um, hold and store. But all in all, this is not about changing the message, it's maintaining the message. Um, this is going to be very healing for people. This is all about healing, healing, healing the tribe, healing that sense of belonging, healing that sense of connectivity. A lot of people have difficulty opening up to belonging to somewhere or something. They have difficulty, they're, they're rather rugged individualists than being a part of the community. Um, they'd love to have communities and they love that people live together in communities and everybody should do as they do, but they say for themselves, I don't want to be a part of that. I need to live my life. I need to be me. And so the Red Rays are invited to open up traditions to include others, to include those that are feeling like they don't have a place in the community, that they don't have a place in this this. Um, in this grouping in a tribe that they don't have a tribe that they belong to to open up the the with the help of divine with the help of love consciousness with the help of compassion with the help of holding that compassionate space to open up space in their communities for others what does this look like well red rays are invited for example let's say you're a deep south christian red ray you know and you don't believe in gays did I just say that? <laughs> so the way to show compassion, right? And to honor this tradition of Christianity, of Christ consciousness, is to be able to say, you know what? I don't believe in what you do, right? And I hope you respect me for that. 
but I respect you as well for being a living being, for being a human being that God put on this earth, and not me, right? That is an expression of the divine bringing a lesson I may not ready to integrate or understand, nor do I need to. That's not what's asked of me. It's not asked of me to understand creation. It is asked of me to support creation, to love creation, to help creation, to make space for creation. It is asked of me to pave the road for creation to walk down on and create things as it goes by. So I'm going to show you the deepest love and compassion I can and welcome you into my community. Make a home for yourself here, right? And part of the problem that people can't make homes anymore or make homes for others or create communities because everybody expects that in a family or in a home or in a community that everybody's on the same wavelength and everybody has to get along and everybody has to completely understand the other otherwise it doesn't work and I'm walking away and I'm doing my individual stuff and sometimes it's just about letting it be right it's just about letting it be and just being able to walk away from the person the opinion excuse me but not from the person or the relationship or the community or the bond right and so I feel that the red rays in 2020 may be challenged with this, right? They may be challenged with something that is so far out of their comfort zone that they're kind of like, I can't love that. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. I can't open the way. I can't open the, the road opener for love to this corner of the universe. You can't demand this of me, God. I can't open the door. I can't open the pathway to make the love come through to this corner of the universe that is created because I'm not in alignment or in accordance with what you have created. And it, it may be a challenge, right? Because it's bringing up, what is this bringing up and what is this triggering? Moments within yourself where you experience moments of not being loved and being judged for not being divine, for not being a divine creation. A lot of times I think that, um, or I get the feeling that people uh, would, we all know that marketing is there in order to make us feel uncomfortable with ourselves, in order to uh, product, uh, you know, sell us products that are supposed to alleviate the problem, but they don't, they just exacerbate the problem. And so if we had this community, if we had this group where everybody would feel like this is where I belong, this is where I feel myself caught up and our definition of home is changed, right? And what a home is and what a family is, right? Officially changed, openly changed. And not just, you know, changed in new age circles, we make our own families and blah, 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 and we're this blended family and we're this kind of family, blah, blah, blah. But we see ourselves as one human family, one universal family. And we see also our groups, our, our communities as family, right? And we start seeing each other differently and opening ourselves to each other again and trusting each other again and feeling a connection to this tribe again. It will significantly change our ability to show love and compassion, which will significantly change, bring huge healing to this world, but also significantly change how we feel, of course, about ourselves and within ourselves, right? So, and that will change a whole slew of other things. So I feel like Spirit is saying, this is where it all begins, right? That those of, I'll say you, <laughs> that are red rays, um, that you're able to hold that down, hold down this compassion, hold down this sense of home, hold down this, you belong here, you have a right to be here, this is your place, this is your home, this is where you're meant to be, um, no matter what you do, you can't lose your spot in this tribe, um, I completely accept you for who you are, it doesn't mean I have to agree with everything that you do, but it's okay, right? And to be cognizant how this can create a healing energy, 
right? So we have healing here and opening up to healing, opening up to healing energies and unfolding of the self, right? So whatever pressures are being placed upon or whatever formative pressures are being placed upon a soul or a consciousness, they're now relaxed and this consciousness and the soul is unfolding and allowed to be its complete self. And we're just sitting here holding space, radiating divine love and compassion in such a passionate way. Remember that saying Voltaire said, Voltaire says that um, I don't have to agree with everything you say, but I will fight for your right to say it, to express it. And this energy kind of needs to come in, right? Because something else is happening. Otherwise, spirit wouldn't say this, right? So there may be a spirit of limit, uh, an energy of limitation that is coming in over 2020 moving forward, where people may be feeling restricted in how they're express, how, what they're allowed to express about themselves, what they're allowed to be saying about themselves, how they're allowed to show themselves. And of course, there's going to be a huge pushback where people are going to do the exact opposite, where they're going to express themselves the way they feel. They're going to become more authentic. There's going to be a movement of people saying, you know what, I'm fed up with having to play a part, play a role, um, cater to your insecurities. I'm not going to allow your fear, which is also part of the red ray, to dictate my experience. I actually said those words a, co oh, a couple days ago. To <laughs> I'm not going to allow your fear to dictate my experience right and so there will be that pushback so it's on the red race to say you know what I'm going to dive into this change that is here and that is coming and I'm going to allow this change energy to flow through me and I'm going to change my stance on something right and I'm going to because I know I radiate this home energy, I radiate this tradition energy, I'm a part of the salt of the earth, and um, I'm, 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 I know that I hold it down, right? And I can create community. I'm one of those that, that you know, I organize the neighborhood, or I'm part, not necessarily the organizer, this is the tricky part with the Red Ray, right? So um, not necessarily the organizer, but I'm an important part or an integral part of the participation that holds it down, that brings a certain consistent energy or stabilizing energy to something and I'm going to open up my heart I'm going to open up my art and I'm going to allow love to flow and I'm going to say this is a safe haven for you not not even a safe haven for you because havens are temporary this is your home you belong here you have a right to be here you have a right to do whatever you want to do here right I don't have to be in agreement with it. This is my home. This is your home too. And I'm going to stand in for that. And this healing, this compassionate healing is, is really going to help stabilize and balance out the other wave that is coming where we may be seeing censorship across the internet, right? Um, censorship where people self-censor because they're afraid of repercussions on the internet, um, where we're going to start seeing that more and more, right? So um, we really need the red rays to step up and say, okay, I'm going to pave the way for this Christ consciousness to come through on this level, right? Where it's giving people a sense of um, a chance to survive, a chance to thrive, and a sense that, yes, you are wanted. You are wanted, right? So of course the red rays will be working on healing that within their own selves when it comes to 2020 and the energies moving forward, right? They'll be the healing the the aspects of themselves that feel triggered when they see someone come in and want to own the place and take over and who do they think they are, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, who do they think they are? This is the way we've been doing it. And now they're coming in and trying to turn things upside down here. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're going to say, okay, you know, like change is coming. We knew change is coming. We've been calling it in. We've been praying for it. We've been talking about it. We've been focusing on it. We've been manifesting this change for eons, right? We knew it was coming. So don't pretend you didn't know this was happening now. 
And it's time to just seriously say, okay, I am committed to this change. I'm committed to changing myself and accepting that this is the energy that I radiate and I can give people a tremendous sense of belonging, a tremendous sense of self. I can lay that foundation for them to grow into these amazing visionaries just by giving them the sense of you belong, I accept you. So this healing is coming for you, Red Ray, right? Through infinite compassion for yourself and the experiences that you've had. Infinite compassion for what those experiences turned you into or made you into, right? Because we've all gone through experiences in life that have turned us into or inspired us to do things that we look back on or we're looking at and saying, you know what? I could have done that differently, but I don't really care because I feel justified in my reaction and my action, right? And on the other hand of saying that, there's this energy of I'm going to dig in my heels and stand my ground because another part of me is looking at me squarely and saying, you're wrong, right? You're wrong. And that part of me that is infinite wisdom and compassion that is just looking at me non-judgmentally and saying, I see the truth. You can run, you can hide doesn't matter I see the truth right this part is coming up more and more and more and more and we've got to allow it to blossom and bloom within ourselves right and we're recognizing that and it's time to give yourself that compassion it's time to give yourself that compassionate truth that compassionate healing that compassionate grounding that compassionate uh, wisdom right and to open yourself to absolute healing and when you heal yourself right when you're free to be your authentic self you're giving others the right to be that too and when we're freely our authentic self and we're not caught up anymore right in in these kind of energies here we can open ourselves up to being a bridge to the divine being a bridge to the mystical and allowing that to to come through in way of inspiration visions you name it and then we create we create a whole new world so you red rays are instrumental in the creation of this new world that we're moving into because you're the first step you're the first contact you're the first point of of being and um, it's really important that over the next few weeks months years that you learn to heal your sense of belonging and what it means to belong right that you learn to heal your um, wounding in that regard of, of survival right abundance all of that because all of this leads to fears resource fears which leads to scarcity which leads to competition which leads to making someone else feel like you don't belong this is my turf my territory get out and um, so you really heal that within you and you'll be able to help heal the world the planet through holding this consciousness of belonging a christ consciousness of uh, christ level consciousness christ level way of thinking about belonging you'll be able to hold that on this planet and have people experience it and bring it into our experience as well you guys i love you and um take care and all of this will heal also your abundance issues so those of you that are looking at 2020 going well what about my money <laughs> what about what about my career this is the foundation for everything right everything that you're going to be experiencing all of that career money everything these are only symptoms right and um we're not talking about symptoms anymore guys right so this is this is let's get to the crunch let's get to the core of things let's really go where it's hurting and clean it up and that'll pave the road open the doors make the way for everything else to follow so if you have an issue with your root chakra or this layer of your consciousness you will have issues with abundance and money and we're stepping into reality um, into responsibility spiritual maturity right which shows us that we are the creators of our experience so if we want a different experience guess what we need to heal whatever false thinking we have right unfold ourselves have infinite compassion for ourselves 
and everything else will fall into place right so all of a sudden the doors open and you start making money for no reason almost right you just you're just being you you're just being true and through this truth you're opening up the doors for truth in others as well okay so that's what's up for money abundance career <laughs> and when it comes to romance and family same thing it's it's all about belonging for you guys and giving others a sense of belonging some of you may be hoping that a relationship gives you a sense of belonging right but you need to heal that you need to heal that because you as the red ray you're giving all of us a sense of belonging tradition connection and stability and laying that foundation of stability in order for everything else to evolve develop and grow okay take care bye and um we'll see what comes up of course you can get your personal 2020 reading and the link is in the description box below this video take care you guys bye